Cavallari. So joining us now, Kristen Cavallari. But see, why why is it calamari and ca calamari. not calamari? That's my frame of reference. Calamari. Well, calam people do call me calamari. No, no, no. I'm not calling you calamari, but it's calamari, well, and it's spelled and cavallari. It's Cavallari. Well, then I'm saying it correctly. Well, then you have to put an accent on it. Cavallari. All right, there you go. Okay. <laughs> Christy Cavallari. There you go. Uh, from the hills. I have to say, just right out of the gate, we like the hills this season. Now we're we're really bummed that it's going away. I know. It's good. It's juicy. You know, there's a lot of intense stuff going on. It's more dramatic than ever. Yeah. Well, let's start with the, the, do you think, is the intensity, is it a product of the fact that it's going away? Is that why? Um, no, I think that it just so happens that a lot of stuff went down this year, you know, Heidi's plastic surgery and then, um, the girls accusing me of doing drugs. Let's talk about that. Mm. There were reports that you were doing drugs and that we may see some of this unfold on the show this season. What can you tell us about it? Well, the only thing that you'll see on the show is what happened last week, um, Miami Super Bowl weekend. The girls accused me of doing drugs and listen, I went out, I had a good time. I was definitely drinking. Um, I've never been shy about admitting that, you know, I like right. to have fun, but for them just to assume I'm on drugs, it's kind of crazy. And then unfortunately followed me home and now it's on the cover of Us Weekly and it's turned into this whole big thing. Where did they find your stash? They didn't. <laughs> <laughs> so why do you think they stirred the pot then? No pun intended. <laughs> um, you know, they just, I don't know. Why do girls do any of the stuff that they do? That catty, stupid stuff. I mean, Stephanie's argument was that my legs are skinny. It's like, what? Is, so oh, I must be on drugs then. My well, legs let's, are skinny. Let's see your legs. They are skinny. <laughs> uh, it's because I'm on drugs. <laughs> <laughs> so who are you most against this season in reality? Stephanie. Stephanie. And, because, and that's true. Yeah, because um, we came home and I knew it was those two girls, Lo and Stephanie, who started all these rumors and I confront them and of course they deny it. But now that I've actually seen the first episode, I wish I would have known because I really would have gone after but did them. You, so you confront them on the show, yeah. but did you confront them also a couple times in reality? Oh yeah, in oh yeah. And, and what was their response? Oh, it wasn't me. No. Right. They blamed it on MTV. Which, you know, who knows? <laughs> I think it's a little combination well, of Well, Audrina two. was here. I mean, she uh, she said this. She's got issues. What are her so issues? So it shows her issues What are her in issues? Miami. What are they? Well, you're going to have to watch and see, but well, I'm sure. Well, they've been in the newspaper. Yeah, party issues? Party issues. Mm. Partying a little too hard. But what's she talking about? Ah. She's got issues. <laughs> what's the status of the two um, of you? I actually asked her about that interview because I heard about it. She said that all she did was explain what's on the first episode. Are the two of you competitive? <laughs> I'm not, no. You think I, she's competitive with no. you? Can the two of you coexist? Yeah. In the same yeah, city? Yeah, we've actually- On the same show? <laughs> in the same place? At we the can. same bar? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this season we can. Last season, not so much. Here is a, a sneak peek, an exclusive clip from tonight's The Hills. Sad it's going away. On MTV. What time's that at? 10, 9 central. You can't even have like a nice conversation. Because why do we all have to be best friends? We don't have to be. We don't need to be best matter. friends. But why don't you trust us? What do we why, even do? Why would I trust you, Stephanie? You're just a mean person. It's all drama and bullshit with you. Like, are you drunk right now? What's wrong yeah, with you? Yeah, I'm hammered. I don't want to be friends with you because of this. Because you have to keep going and going and going and making this. Because I'm not going to be fake when I see you. It's, it's like, not about that. You if you cool. would just shut up, this would Kristen, be done. Kristen, just apologize for what you did. I don't know you. You're delusional. Okay. I th okay. I like okay. that. I like that defense. <laughs> I, I thought that was a clip from The Real Housewives for a second. I mean, you, you have to admit, it's it's made for. Definitely interest, interesting TV, but the, the two the two of you going at it there, How give me a percentage of how real the emotion is in a scene like that. Um, that was all very real for me because that was right after the Us Weekly article came out saying I need to go to rehab. So, I mean, I was pissed. I was just mad and upset at, at you know anyone that it could have been. MTV, Stephanie, Lo, um, you know, and then she's saying that I owe her an apology for what? You know what I mean? I, I'm not the She started rumors about me and I owe her an apology. Have the two of you sorted this out yet? Um, yes, but then I just saw her for the first time since I've actually seen the episode mm -hmm. last week. And I, I didn't... think we should send them to Magic Mountain or, you know, Six Flags <laughs> together just for a day in the park, just to yeah. sort, sort through all of this, mm -hmm. don't you think? Good idea. <laughs> Are you sad that the show's ending? It's bittersweet. I mean, I think that it's time. You know, everyone's been doing it for so long. Everyone's ready to move on. But, um, but we're like family. Well, is there any chance that after this season, if it does well, they'll say, okay, we're going to go one more? I mean, they could. Would you do it? Uh, I don't know. Would you do it with Stephanie? Maybe. And Heidi? Yeah. Heidi's very interesting this season. Yeah. What do you think about Heidi this season? Um, I think that 
her storyline is very good <laughs> for the show, but I think mm -hmm. that it's kind of sad. Um, I think that she was a beautiful girl before she got all this work done, and it seems like she's just kind of vacant now. Have you asked her why she really decided to do all that work? I mean, yeah, she just um, she wasn't happy with the way she looked before. Hmm. Was she pushed? Do you think by Spencer at all? No, I really don't. He because the word is he fought it. Like he didn't yeah, want her. To he do didn't it. want her to get it done. Has he gotten past it now? Yeah. Yeah, he's okay. Well, yeah. I, I've seen some of it in person. I mean. It looks better in person fine. than, than it does photographs. Look, it does look better in yeah. person. I mean, our boobs are huge. There's no getting around uh, that. That's really the only thing I got the chance to but see. The, but her face <laughs> isn't exa as exaggerated in person as it yeah. looks like in, in photos. Yeah. Oh, so they exaggerated in the still well, photos. Well, I think when she wears makeup and, you know. And I think that she did a lot of her photos when she was still kind of swollen and it's all calmed down She now. looked fine when she came in here. She yeah. looked great. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I mean, she looked, you know, she looks good. What about Brody and Avril Lavigne dating? What did you think when that came out? I uh, was kind of shocked, not going to lie. But um, Were you hurt? No, <laughs> no. Really? You weren't defeated in any way? No, I'm all right. You're okay with I'm it? I'm okay. A bit surprised why? Um, I just would never picture the two of them together, but they seem happy, so. She's cool. I like her. Well, you know, I like both I've of never them. met her. What about uh, Lauren? Is she coming back for the finale? There's talk about it, but well, nothing I know there's talk, that's why I asked about it. Is there, I don't is there know. answer? <laughs> I know that they're trying to get her back. <laughs> there's talk. I know what the talk is about. Uh, they're trying to get her to come I back. I want her to. I you think do. it would be cool. Yeah. What's it like between the two of you now? We're, we're very friendly when we see each other, but we don't see each other very often. Are you happy for her to be successful? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Really happy. I mean, yes. <laughs> would you trade anything? Would you, would you see your... Like, would you... Yourself say, you know what? I am such a good friend. I would love for her to be very successful, and I will step back and let her have the spotlight no. and take over. Right? Okay, good. <laughs> Just to make sure it's the same Kristen. <laughs> Here's something we want to ask you because I was going to have this conversation anyway. Might as well start it now. Oh. The Hills, by the way, tonight, ten nine Central, on MTV. Do you have a boyfriend now? Nope, single. You're si How's that going for you? Well, Do you, you know, like it? I mean, yeah, but it's been like two and a half years. I'm ready. I'm ready. To ready for a guy. relationship. It's hard to meet guys in L.A. Well, have you tried? A little bit, yeah. yeah. And what does trying mean? <laughs> I mean well, I've, I mean, I've gone on a few dates. But right. And where do they take you? What do they do? These um, guys? Dinner, usually. And what do you talk about at dinner? I mean, I don't know. Everything. Do you often get bored at yeah. dinner quickly? And then how do you escape or don't you? <laughs> um... No, I mean, I finish up dinner, and then I go home. And then you get a... <laughs> I get my free mail, you know? <laughs> um, but you, you would like to be in a relationship. Yeah, if the right guy came along, yeah.